So this is from EV Magazine. And uh, maybe that's a recent picture. So automatically we see a looks divide, okay? If we look at Destiny, he's a pathetic neckbeard loser who couldn't win a fight, couldn't win a race, couldn't climb a wall that was six feet high to save his life, couldn't climb a tree probably, uh, couldn't lift more than 25 pounds over his head without having a hernia. Uh, Neckbeard dude, the only thing he's lacking is being fat, but I've seen his body, he's skinny fat. Uh, there ain't no six pack there, ain't no muscle tone there. This guy has never seen a weight that he didn't hate. <laughs> Uh, and this chick, who's a solid eight, nine, even, with makeup, yeah, and he's what, a four? I think he's below average in looks. He's goofy looking, and he's goofy, period. Once you get him out of the little, uh, you know, comfort zone that he's created for himself, his little debate me, bro, space where he can feel like a chad, he's anything but that. <laughs> and he knows it, which is why he's always trying to overcompensate by pwning the competition, yeah, by owning his enemies, yeah, 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 which he creates very many of just so he will have the opportunity to pwn others, all right? That's all it is. And look at him. He's pathetic. He's old looking, too. Jesus, see, he looks more like he, he looks like he's about 44, 45 years old, but he's actually in his early 30s. And look at her, she's looking older than her actual age, so she drinks, she probably drugs it, you know, lives the high life, but she's still looking pretty good, so she's got some chips she could cash in, so talk about a mismatch, right? Who do you think's in charge in this relationship? A hint, it's not him. So, streamer Destiny reportedly getting a divorce after flaunting his open marriage. This is the thing that really annoys me. This freaking guy. He would go online talking about how great he's got it. My marriage is wonderful. I get the bang broads whenever I want. <laughs> it turns out it wasn't. That's not the case. Uh, there were certain rules that benefited her, and we'll probably talk about them later in this video or in another video. But it turns out that, no, she set the rules. He couldn't bang anybody else. Uh, it wasn't an open relationship. It was only an open relationship for her. Big surprise there. And, uh, you know, she set the rules. It was all one-sided. And as most of us thought, he had no power, no control. And all his ranting and raving to the red pill community that were constantly bad-mouthing and judging him. Oh, well, it turns out that all that ranting and raving about the red pillars, well, that was just copium and we were all correct. <laughs> wonder if he'll admit that. Yeah, but that annoyed me. He's getting online. Talking about anybody, the red pill community is this and that and the other. All straw men. Everything he would say about the red, red pill community was a lie, an exaggeration, a poisoning of the well so that he could gaslight himself into not having to listen to anything they have to say. Well, they're all losers. They're all pathetic. They're just envious. So whatever they say, I don't have to listen to. Yeah. Yeah, he's so logical and reasonable and intelligent. No, he's barely above average intelligence. Okay, don't kid yourself. This guy is a dummy. And this proves it. Streamer Stephen Kevin Bonnell the Second, who is known online as Destiny, the name ought to tell you all you need to know. Uh, so, oh, uh, e, boy, <laughs> is reportedly divorcing Melina Goronson. Yep, yep, she's a Nordic chick. Yeah, those those wonderful Nordic countries with their. Uh, you know, egalitarianism, yeah. It's all one-sided, though, so there's nothing egalitarian about it. The two are known to have an open marriage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, 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 yeah. He's amassed a large following on social media thanks to his political debates, yeah, which he does very poorly in most of the time, with internet personalities, a self-described omni-liberal, whatever the hell that means, the blue-haired, yeah, blue-haired guy. Streamer has always been vocal about his progressive views and his open marriage. How's that going for you, Stephen? Is that going well for you? <laughs> Is that working out well for you, Stevie? Yeah. No. Yeah. You should, it turns out you should have listened to the conservatives you hate so much. So Melina and Destiny's relationship. 
Destiny, age 34, and his wife, 24. Uh, so wait, she was 24 in 2021, or are they talking about their age just now, or back in 2021? So if that was how old they were at, at that time, then he'd be 36 now, and she'd be 26. Well, anyway, uh, married Swedish born, uh, earns the 20. Oh, okay, in 20, so this is the current ages, I guess. Or this is a little off, maybe. I don't know. I thought that she was 25. And he was 35, or I thought he was 10 years older. Uh, doesn't matter. One year off there. And they have appeared on numerous streams and podcast episodes together. Yeah, they're attention horse. Yeah, of course. And it's pretty obvious she was just using him. I think she's got some, uh, doesn't she have a large channel? We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, last year, the two opened up about their relationship on the Lex Friedman podcast. We've got, like, long-term friends, some of them we hook up with, Destiny explained. Uh -huh. It turns out that's not actually the case. So uh, how it works is he's only allowed to hook up with someone if she's hooking up with someone. And if she's not hooking up with anyone currently, then he can't hook up with anyone. Of course, he only has her word to go on. And since he's not insecure, doesn't keep track of her, doesn't know where she's going, doesn't know what she's doing when she's not in the house with him. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to take her on her word. Whatever she's, so oh, he's going to have to take her on her word when she says, well, you know, I'm not currently hooking up with anyone, so you can't hook up with anyone either. That was their arrangement, basically. Uh, she is allowed to hook up with whoever she wants, and then if she's hooking up with someone, he can hook up with whoever he wants. Right. Uh-huh. Does it work both ways, though? I mean, can she only hook up with someone if he's hooking up with someone, or is it always estimated who can hook up at any given time based upon whether or not she's got somebody? Of course, it's all about her, right? She, so he's only allowed to go out and bang and clang other broads if she already, if she has somebody set and in place and has that plate spinning and the dude is available. Otherwise, he can't. So she had total control over him and his cock. Oh, it's great. Yep, big, big shocker there. Uh, adding that it's a delicate dance that explodes every six months on itself. Explodes? Uh-huh. Doesn't sound good. When host Lex Friedman, well, it depends on what kind of exploding we're talking about, but the way he puts it, it doesn't sound good. When host Lex Friedman asked if they fought over the situation, they said yes. Is anyone surprised? No. So should we watch this? Should, should we watch this? This video is getting a little long. Uh, so that's going to be the next video. We're going to watch that in the next one. Yeah. This is going to take a lot of time to dissect and delve into. All right. So maximum amount of red pills for you guys and the maximum amount of comedy as well as we laugh at this blue haired, neck beard, skinny fat, kook, bohoy, loser. <laughs> Whose only claim to fame is that he talks fast and knows the word syllogism and post hoc. On the whatever podcast, the couple explain their reasoning behind having sex with other people. Variety is fun. Is it? Uh, I mean, variety, I guess, can spice things up. But I think when that terminology came about and is used in regards to sex, I think it's meant to be applied to monogamous couples. You, you, you need to mix things up and have variety to keep your relationship spicy. Otherwise, by the way, I never had this issue. I mean, if I cared about somebody, although I've actually experienced real love, unlike this pathetic uh, Sue, Sue, B-O-I, Sue, B-O-I. I have to use, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> Slightly altered uh, words so that the YouTube algorithm algorithm doesn't get me. There's a Sue Bull Boy. Can I say boy? Probably not. Sue Boy. Sue Boo. Let's say Sue Boo instead of, you know what I want to say. So this Sue Boo uh, Destiny here uh, has never experienced real love. So he just knows the uh, that in his mind love isn't uh, real. Just a god strut. The share of your patriarchy. You like my blue hair? <laughs> uh, I never had that issue, right? I mean, if I love abroad, uh, it's great every time. I, I don't understand this. You need variety to spice things up. But anyway, uh, when you don't have love, then you need variety. Destiny tells everyone at the table, sometimes I want to be with a girl that's Hispanic or Asian. But you can't, unless she okays it. <laughs> what a loser. 
Uh, he also mentioned how there are some things that are fun to exploit sexually with other people that not everyone might like. Why would you get with somebody who you're not compatible with sexually, though? And by the way, if she loves you and cares about you, then she's going to be willing to try new and interesting things. He's probably talking about anal, the degenerate. <laughs> well, that's a, that's, a, that's a relationship ender for me. No monogamous relationship if she's not in the anal. <laughs> Can I say that? I probably can't say that on, um, uh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, darn. Darn, darn, darn. Uh, both Goritzen and Destiny are also bisexual. Oh, whoa, hello. So I guess if she's hooking up with some dude and that dude is bisexual, Destiny is there polishing the guy's knob. <laughs> Along with his wife. Oh, that's interesting. That's a whole other video, yo! Destiny opens up about separating with Melina. Melina? I don't know. Fans that the Destiny unfollowed or blocked his wife on social media platforms this week. Uh, according to Destiny's fans on his subreddit, the streamer revealed that he was done with Gorenson after she fell for an abusive guy. Right. So, Destiny, the kook... Boy, that he is the simpy white knight who doesn't believe anything that red pill, evil, misogynistic men say, thought that he could woo and help heal his wife with kindness. And, well, what love? There's no love here. Love requires boundaries. <laughs> But he thought he could woo her with things and material possessions and a nice house. And apparently there was an apartment that he was renting separate from the home he lived in that she was also staying in or used as a love nest or something. Uh, I'll have to do more research into that. That's a whole nother video. Uh, so he went all out to give her what she wanted and be the nicest guy possible. And what do you think happened? Well, like all women with options, uh, she dumped him for a broken dude. Chad, <laughs> in the look sense. Oh, boy, though, maybe he has money, too. I don't know. I've seen some pictures of this dude sitting on her lap wearing a dress. That's another video in and of itself. I'll have a small convo when I'm back about things. I'm not going to nuke Melina or anything. Yeah, you're too nice, right? You're too nice. Yeah. I don't want to nuke the woman that, uh, you know, betrayed the agreements. That we had made that were totally completely one-sided and favored her <laughs> and gave her all the power and the hand and the relationship no i don't want to nuke her she's okay with nuking me but you know i'm too much of a poo see to do that uh but the last two months and two weeks have been a massive mind f for me watching her become obsessed with a toxic abusive guy yeah. When I visited Sweden last, uh, he gave... Oh, oh, he's Swedish. So now she wants to go back to Sweden. I guess her tax troubles are all sorted out. And now she's got dual citizenship, so she wants to go home. Oh, big shocker. He gave Mel an ultimatum to divorce me! Oh, so he's not afraid to give ultimatums and set boundaries and tell her what to do. Meanwhile, you're afraid of all those things. Yeah, it's a mystery why she picked him. <laughs> And then threaten to kill himself. Wow. Okay, so he's uh, mentally ill as well. Women love the fixer-upper, right? They, they, they can't help it. Especially if he's an attractive guy. They can't help it. Oh, he's good looking. Maybe he makes money. I don't know. Although if he's so mentally unbalanced that he's threatening to kill himself, I don't know that he's all that successful. But uh, she might be one of these bro... Well, obviously she is that uh, likes weak, simpy, beta... See? Soy... Oh, oh. Oh, yes. And so, yeah, she'd want a guy like that, especially if he was attractive, right? She could have total, complete, 100% control over him. Oh, boy, this chick's got problems. That's a whole other video in and of itself. Wow, this is content gold, baby! Wow, I'm going to mine this <laughs> for a while. Uh, when she didn't do it, among 20 other abusive, manipulative things he's done. Yeah, he's still alive. He doesn't even keep his word. Certainly not a real man. He'd be uh, six feet under by now if he was. And endlessly make excuses for him, so I'm out. Screenshot of a Discord message show. It is confirmed Destiny and Melina are getting divorced. 
So the article goes on to say, it's alleged that Min got closer to Gorenson by trashing Destiny. Not too difficult to do. She probably trashes them in her own mind and has little, if any, respect for him to begin with. He's just there to pay the bills like the simp loser he is. Of course, he demands nothing more like, you know, loyalty. While she goes off and bangs whatever guys that she wants while she's looking to level up by trash and destiny because she loved the emotional validation of people making her feel like every single problem in the relationship was his fault uh huh big shocker there you tell a woman what she wants to hear validate her with lots of attention and yeah you got her i wonder why destiny couldn't figure that out <laughs> he couldn't do that he's supposedly so intelligent and so smart why couldn't he uh you know Pull a few Jedi mind tricks on this broad so that she has stopped doing all this stuff. Right, because he's a weakling, he's a wimp, and he's nothing like the faux persona that he tries to portray to his audience. The streamer supposedly wrote, Not to add salt to the wound or anything, but by allowing Gorenson to have sex with other men, she opened herself up to being manipulated. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, I, <laughs> anybody really think that uh, someone's manipulating this broad? I mean, maybe it's, maybe somewhat, okay, depending on how good-looking this other guy is. But mm, I think in any relationship, she's probably the person that's in charge. Unless she finds that guy, that alpha dude, somebody that she wants really, 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 really bad, somebody that's like a top 5 percenter. But that guy wouldn't be with a, a hoe like this, a three or four like this. So, uh uh, it's hard to say, hard to speculate without knowing more about this chick. But anyway, Destiny admitted to being a pushover for many years. Dude, you got online and said that it was great and everybody was just a hater and that they just were envious and they wanted what you have and you've got it perfect, you've got it great, you got it made in the shade. And now, now, you're trying to uh, pander to the naysayers? Yeah. He's still not going to admit he's wrong. He's still, still, still not going to come out and say, the Red Bill guys were right. Of course not. Of course not! Yeah! So, the divorce rumors come after Gorenson has reportedly been in Sweden for six months due to a trial. Frequently, frequently streaming with a man who goes by Memetix. So this is the other guy. Wow. Uh, wow, he looks uh, young. Much younger than Destiny and boyish. Much more attractive, uh, probably. Hmm. Very thin, skinny, weak. Not what I would consider a man. She doesn't want to... I don't think that she actually wants to be... I mean, she's going to want to bang, right? Uh, she's going to want to bang. Big, brony, good-looking dude. She just can't help it, right? Women are wired that way. But she's not going to want to be in a long-term relationship of any kind with a dude like that. She, she's having a real hard time controlling those guys. And ultimately, I think she's a narcissist, which means she's the center of the world. She's got to be in control. Uh, and she's not a covert narcissist like some people pretend to be. Uh, I think she's the highest level of narcissist. She's a malignant narcissist. I think she's a very dangerous woman. Any man foolish enough to orbit her, <laughs> which is all destiny was, a, a glorified orbiter. Orbiter, whether he realizes it or not. Uh, probably a good thing for him. So she's, de she's dealing with legal troubles right now in Sweden. Closing thoughts. I'm not sure who proposed f first to be in an open relationship. I don't think it matters. I think it does. Usually the person that proposes it is the woman. That's why you don't want to say who proposed it, right? Yeah, because you're a media outlet, so you're always going to white knight for the women, so you don't want to talk about anything that would make them look bad. Both of them agreed to this dynamic, yeah. Right, she agreed to it because Destiny's a weakling and pathetic and she had no feelings for him, and he agreed to it because he's a pathetic weakling with no self-esteem. And the, so how is that healthy, right? How is that a healthy, healthy dynamic? Isn't there a stilted power dynamic there? I thought that you lefty, progressive, postmodernist uh, tards hated that kind of thing. Only when it doesn't benefit us. I see. <laughs> we're all humans. I don't know what that means. Just an excuse. So if we're humans, it's okay if we do bad shit. And emotions are unpredictable. I don't know what that means either. What does that mean? It's not unlikely for someone in an open relationship to fall for a sexual partner that they see frequently or get intimate with. Something's not right with that sentence. It's not unlikely for someone in a marriage to fall for a sexual partner that's not their husband or wife. But marriage, that's why you don't 
have partners outside of your marriage? <laughs> well, I can't be fulfilled by him. Well, honey, why don't you sit down and communicate with him your wants and needs and desires, and that way he can become better and better pleasing you. But you see, that would mean her giving him power. This woman, above all else, this Melina, is a control freak of epic proportions. She has to be in charge of every little tiny aspect of any relationship she's in. That's why whatever beta buck dude she gets with, they're going to be skinny, dad bod, weak, emaciated looking guys that have the heroin chic look going on. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But she'll still step out in the open marriage and bang and clang with the big butchy Chad dudes while going home to the uh, beta dude. We'll pay the bills and put up with her crap, which Chad won't do, which is why she's not with him. Yeah, the truth is that sex is not just a physical act. You don't say. When women have sex, they release a neuropeptide oxytocin, increasing the feelings of trust and emotions associated with love, sexual desire, and bonding. Hmm. Are you saying that pair bonding actually exists? Yes, but I will not admit that having multiple and multiple partners will diminish that. <laughs> She's got bonding ability? She doesn't seem to have bonded very well with Destiny, so uh, I don't think she can bond. Uh, I think there have been uh, too many uh, <laughs> boats in the boathouse, as it were. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, sure, monogamous couples cheat on each other, too. Yeah, but that's not like what... <laughs> that's generally not agreed upon going in, right? Yeah. Marriage, generally speaking, until very recently meant, you know, you don't bang other people outside of the confines of marriage. Confines, meaning uh, boundaries, which this woman can't have, right? You want to put boundaries around her? Oh, mm, sorry. We're done. <laughs> oh, but there is no denying the couples in open relationships are likely to develop feelings for other people uh, beside their spouse. Duh! That's why you don't do it. They call it catching feelings, yeah. Their social circle is much bigger. Boundaries are virtually non-existent. By the way, I'd like to say, if she's in Sweden right now dealing with legal troubles, meaning that's why she stayed there and couldn't leave, and she's living with this guy, it could be that it's just a relationship of convenience, and that's the reason why she wouldn't stop seeing this dude while she's over there in Sweden, thousands and thousands of miles away from destiny. I mean, God forbid she pay her own bills. <laughs> And by the way, she may not be planning on going back to Destiny. So it's just another relationship of convenience, and she'll dump this C boy beta kook loser that she's with now uh, the moment that, uh, you know, a better offer comes along, if a better offer does come along. Eventually, those better offers will stop. That's why women like this are eventually destined for misery and abject failure. Anyway, looking back at the duo's podcast experience, it sounds like this unconventional marriage never worked out for them. It, I got news for you. It doesn't work out for anybody. Even those people who agree to this from the first, it doesn't work. Hopefully, Destiny will learn to stand up for himself. <laughs> You've got to have self-esteem and respect yourself to be able to do that. And from, for all his posturing and tough guy in the debate me bro space, he's a pathetic weakling loser and all that debate me bro crap is just his way of overcompensating. Stop being a pushover and go for women interested in a monogamous relationship built on love, respect, and loyalty. <laughs> As if that's ever going to happen with this guy. Uh, before loving anyone else, you have to love yourself. And I'm afraid that Destiny, look at that face, look at that demeanor, look at what he allowed, look at how he allowed himself to be treated, does not, based on his own actions in any way, shape, or form, love himself. And the only way you can love others is to first love self. And I don't think this guy has a clue what love is, self or otherwise. Anyhow, that's it for now on this subject. There will be more. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that.
that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, ding! And don't forget to follow me on Alt Tech. You will see the addresses where you can follow me on Alt Tech platforms above this video, the uh, you know upper portion of the screen. Go to those platforms. I am the realist philosopher on both. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my commentary, and I wish you all a good and pleasant day. Take care.